Well, I'm very happy with the victory. I've, I'm, uh, you know, I'm a little disappointed when you give up 55 points and a half at home. And I told the players that. And uh, but uh, there's a lot of there's some good things in there. We uh, we you know we're still playing a lot of people. One, two, three, four, five, nine players got 10 minutes or more. And uh, you know we're, uh, we're 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 very happy with Alonzo Sule's. Uh, progress this year. He's been playing very well, playing with a lot of energy. 23 and 10. He's got to be Player of the Week nominee for us. You know, uh, you know, we we uh, we we didn't have good shooting performances from Nigel today. Uh, but uh, when you put the when you put uh, Eric Terry and you know Jalen and and Sule together, you got a you got a very high percentage. Uh, they have a team that is very good offensively. They can hit shots, uh, and uh, but we still held them at forty-two point six percent. I don't know how you get eighty points when you do that, but uh, I guess you give up thirty-five free throws is one thing. So Ian Dubos uh, is a very good player for them, and uh, the big kid, the big kid is a good offensive player for them, and uh, I think other than those two, we did a good job on everybody else. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I told the players before I came out that if you want to be championship caliber, you you got to put – you got to play two halves very well together. 90 points, great. A 80 points, uh, you know, we, we've got to do a better job of defending the, uh, people. So – but let me look. You got – you got uh, – our two link scores are eight for twenty two. That's not terrible, but it's what some like low forties. Um, anyway, very happy for Sule. <clears throat> Sule, uh, uh, you know, has, has has pretty much been a key player for us the last two games, and he's only a freshman. So I'm very happy about that. Any questions, um, Coach? What do you feel like was the difference between the two halves defensively? Oh, you get if you coach long enough, you realize that they tend to relax a little bit, especially when we came out and hit the first shot. Now we're up 17. You know, I I, I didn't think Nigel played well today. Two rebounds, uh, you know, one assist. No, that's not a good game. You know, for him, it's not a good game. I was happy that Trey hit a couple of threes because he hadn't hit a three in a long time, and. Uh, you know, he had four assists and he didn't turn it over and, you know, so, uh, but uh, um, 12, 12 turnovers is acceptable to me. Uh, you know, 10, 10 to 12 turnovers is acceptable to me. Uh, and that's why we had 12. Um, they got too many offensive boards, uh, particularly one player, Philip McKenzie, who we knew was a great rebounder. And Ian Dubose, like I said, just he just played a heck of a game. So. I thought I thought I thought a lot of fouls were called both on them and us, and their coach got a T. And I I have to tell you that I just felt like I mean it was frustrating to see some of the calls they made. So I'm not arguing with Coach Cottrell, you know, in terms of not being totally happy with the way the game was called. You know, you mentioned the, the fouls that were called. Nigel kind of hit on it that he feels like when when those fouls are called, it takes away from the aggressiveness they can play on defense. Well, we got to play. You know, first of all, like I tell him, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna back off on aggressiveness, I need to play some people. But you know, what's happening is, you know, like Shelby had 10, 10 minutes and he gets three fouls and boom, boom, boom. You know, and we just, you know, and I just I told him, you, you know, you can't come in and foul that quick, especially their best player. You got to defend without fouling. So, you know, uh, anyway. Uh, Yes, when you get three fouls, and they know that they know that after two they're coming out in the first half, and if it's too early in the second half they're coming out, so that can sometimes affect the, the deep aggressiveness. But what I tell them is, is that your man can't, you can't, you don't have to foul your man if he doesn't catch it. Don't let your man catch it where he wants to catch it, to where he can attack you and and score quickly. And so, you know, these guys think of defense more of, well, my man has the ball. Your man isn't going to have the ball quite a bit of the time you're in the game. And he can have it less if you will play great denial defense. 
and they, we got to do a better job of that, like on Dubos, not letting him catch the ball uh, real easy. Just really, 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 almost, almost face guarding, you know. Anyway, so we shot 50, almost 53%. We had 12 turnovers. We had 24 or 28 free throws. We had six of 18 threes, which is, you know, that's, that's, not bad, you know. Another two or three would have made it great. And we're, like I said, it, it's a lot of good statistics in here, except for 13 offensive rebounds and the fact that we had 26 personal fouls that put them at the free throw line so much. Yes, sir. What uh, what kind of work have you seen from uh, Alonzo Sula to be able to, to have the last you know, two games that he's had? He just, you know, he just he just it's like a light went on. You know, something clicked, and now he's on there. He's playing. He's going to the boards. He's playing with energy. Uh, and like I told those other two big men, I said, you guys are the older players. You're going to be sitting if you don't start responding. You know, this is life. You want to play, you got to compete. You want to you make money, you got to compete. You want to get the promotion, you got to compete. You know, don't, 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 don't say, well, I'm a junior or I'm a senior. That don't, that don't mean nothing. In their minds, it does. In my mind, it doesn't. I'll, start, I'll play a freshman if he's the best player at that position. College is a whole different ball game. So he's really playing well, and it's just like I said, a light went on. And the thing is, he's not taking bad shots. Some of it is players penetrating. He's ready to catch it and score. But a lot of it, he's getting second. He's getting a rebound, second in effort shots, you know, rebound putbacks. And that's just effort. You know, that's just great effort. Some athletic, he's a good athlete, but there's a lot, most of it is effort. What can you say about this team's start of the season? It's the third best starting program in history. Uh, just really proud of them. But I'm pushing them. You know, after the game, I said, I'm happy we won. I congratulate you. But giving up 55 points in, a, in one and a half, guys, at home, that's not acceptable, man. Fouling as much as we did, that was not acceptable. You know, uh, but like I told him, I can pat you on the back when you when you have a B. I can pat you on the back and tell you had A work when you had B work. Uh, but, you know, I didn't think their defense was what they emphasized. So we got up and down with them, which is what they want. You know, so uh, you know, these guys beat Wake Forest. They lost badly to Arizona and Wisconsin, which most people would do. They beat Fordham at Fordham. Uh, I mean, Fordham at, at uh, Houston Baptist. So, uh, you know. Their best player is a big man that's was was dressed was in a is in a warm up suit. Uh, he he's he's their best player, and but it's that that's kind of hard to say when Dupos looked as good as he did today.